morning everyone welcome to uh my little man cave bow room is getting a little hot today so move down here i'm gonna make you a little video i'm gonna build some arrows and uh first we're gonna go through arrow selection how to choose what arrows to use and uh and then we'll build some arrows go tune the bow up and go shooting uh be a two-part video this first part we're gonna go ahead and go over how i select my arrows what arrows to use each year and uh and how i do that so let's go ahead and, uh, and start that. All right, guys, <clears throat> welcome. I'm gonna give you guys a little tutorial on how I like to build arrows and what goes into building an arrow. So this is how I think about my arrow selection and components and how I'm gonna build my arrows for the year. So the first thing I do is I go to this archery calculator and uh, I go to the bow speed, okay? Because this is really what I want to know is how fast can, how big of an arrow can I build and how fast is it going to go? So obviously you have your bow, you know your IBO. Mine's 342. I have a 30 inch draw. My peak weight is about 81 and a half. Total arrow weight in grains. Now this is where you're going to be changing this around a little bit. So We'll start with 500 grains because I'm shooting 81 pounds of 30 inch draw and additional weight on the string It's gonna be somewhere for you between 10 and 15 grains. Now that's peep knock tie-ins. I have a nose button so 15 grains probably so Let's go ahead and see where a 500 grain arrow they're gonna calculate that so they're gonna calculate 500 grain arrow at 305 feet per second now I know that that is not where I want to be. 305 feet per second, although it's uber fast, is going to be really hard to tune in my bow. Um, you get over that 290, especially over 300, tuning your bow is super hard and it comes untuned pretty easy. Now, that's just my experience. I don't want to be sitting around tuning my bow all year over and over again to fly this fast. Plus, when you start getting closer to your IBO speed, your bow becomes a lot less forgiving. I mean, you're gonna have a little more hand shock. It's gonna be a lot louder. Um, basically, you're, you're getting to the point where you're dry firing your bow. And so what I recommend is that all these new bows that are somewhere between 330, 350 IBO, you should probably be looking to shoot somewhere in the 280 to 290 range. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go back to the drawing board here. Let's see what a 550 grain arrow build would look like. So 550 grains, that's 288.6 feet per second. Now that's going to be just about perfect. I mean, that's pretty money right there. That's going to quiet that bow down. It's going to still have some really good um, pin gaps. Uh, I'm not losing too much speed. And... There's going to be a lot less vibration in that bow. It's going to be a lot easier to manage and tune at 288. So I kind of like that. Let's see what happens if we go to 575. Uh, so 280. So I'm good at 280. I think anywhere in that 550 to 575 is going to be perfect. Let's see what happens if we go to 600. 600. 272. That's a little slow. And... I mean, I'm shooting an 80 pound bow and this is, these are ridiculously heavy arrows. So I like this 550 to 575. That's where we're going to be somewhere in that 280 feet per second range is going to be the best. So that's where I'm looking to build now. So now that I know that I need to start looking to build somewhere around a 550 to 575 grain arrow, I need to go figure out what spine arrow I need. So. For most of you, this isn't going to be as complicated as it is for me because you're only shooting, you know, you can go right down the list. And so this is gold tips, spine selector. Now that my IBO is over 315, so we're at the 315 plus selector. Most of you in that 70 to 74 range, 100 grain, 125 grain, you're going to be somewhere in 28 to 30 inch draw. You're going to be 300 spine, you're right. That's pretty pretty easy. Um, if you're in that 30 inch, you might get down to that 250 spine. But it's pretty simple for most people to figure out exactly where they're going to be. Now, for me, I'm going to be shooting 81 pounds, 82 pounds. 
and I have a 30 inch draw <clears throat> and I'm going to be at that 100 point weight, which puts me at 250 spine. But this is the kicker here. I don't know if they say this on here, but most of these arrows spine selectors will tell you <clears throat> this is just point weight. It doesn't, it's just not necessarily a broadhead weight. Now I already know that I'm going to have at least 150, maybe 200 grains up front on my arrow. So even if I went to the 150 grains and went down to 80 pounds, 30 inch draw, it's a 200 spine arrow. And that's probably where I need to be is that 200 spine. Um, I don't know if anyone even makes 150 spine. So I'm going to be looking to find a 200 spine arrow. Let's go, let's go look at a different one. Let's go to Black Eagles chart. And we go down to 80, 85, 30 inch draw. And I'm, I'm at 250, it says. But, again, the kicker, down here at the bottom in the fine print, based on 100 grain point, if using a 125 grain point or more, you need to use a stiffer spine. So I'm going to have a lot more weight up front. I'm going to have to go down one spine. Now, it's interesting because they go from 250 to 150 spine. They don't even have a 200 spine. <laughs> I don't even know if anyone makes a 150 spine arrow. If they do, someone get back to me. I want to see this 150 spine arrow. Um, so I have options. I mean, I could go, I could lighten my bow up and I could shoot 75 to 80. And I'd be right fine in that 250, even if I added some point weight. That's an option. Um, but you got to pick the correct spine because if you don't have the correct spine, um, your bow is just not going to tune good. And you may never get it tuned. Now, if you're on the border, say you're in here on the 70-75 with a 28-inch draw and it says 300, do yourself a favor, get the 250 spine. Cut them a little bit long past your rest, see how they tune. If it doesn't tune great, cut it back a quarter inch at a time until you get that thing to tune perfect. The heavier spine's always going to be better if you're on that borderline. And if you know you're going to be putting more than 100, 100 grains up front, definitely go up one spine. That's just going to make your life so much easier and you're going to save a lot of money not buying the incorrect arrows. All right, so we know we need to be past, we need to be somewhere in a 200 to 150 spine, which just sucks because there's not very many arrows that come in those. So Victory Archery, let's look and see what they got. I've shot Victory for a long time. They've been great. This is their top of the line arrow, their VAP SS. And they don't come with anything stiffer than a 250 spine. So that's out of the question. And that, the reason I picked, I went to the Vape SS. I don't know, let's see what the rip has. Is I want to shoot a micro diameter arrow. It's just what I like. So the rip is their five millimeter top of the line, and it's again only a 250 spine. So that's not going to work. So neither of those options work. Let's see the vape TKO. It's another great arrow. 235 spine. That's doable. I think that could work. We'll figure it out when we build these arrows to see what we get. 235, 11.1 grains per inch. It's not bad. Um, see what the rip if the rip has a 235 nope they don't have the 235 that's interesting so i'm going to be shooting a micro diameter arrow um, i shot the vapes a long long time i loved them never had one of these break never and they only go to 250 spine so that's not going to work so possibly 235 spine okay eastern axis i love the eastern axis arrows big fan i like Micro diameter. Now, don't ask me why, because components are hard as hell to find, and <laughs> they only have a 250 spine, so that's not going to work. For giggles, let's see what the five millimeters have. They go down to 200 spine. There you go, 200 spine, five millimeter. I could do that. I could build an arrow five millimeter, 12 grains per inch. Okay, that's a little heavy, but that's doable. So that's an option for me. That's the best option we have so far. Five millimeter axis. Okay. I like that. Let's go. Let's go to the FMJ. Let's see what the four millimeter FMJ has. Uh, Two fifty spine. That's not going to work. Uh, I wonder if the five millimeters the same. And it is two hundred fifty spine. So 
neither of those are going to work. So it looks like the five millimeter axis is really my only option at this point. Go to Black Eagle. Now I've never shot Black Eagles. I've heard really good things about them. Let's go four millimeter Mike Rose. And the X-Impacts, I've heard great things about. These are top of the line shafts. I mean, let's go down and see here. Oh man, look at that. 200 spine, micro diameter, 11 grains per inch. That is super light. Most 250 spines are at, you know, the 10, 10.8 grains per inch. This is a 200 spine, 11 grains per inch. That's super light. And I mean, this is a top of the line area. Look at this. 0 0.001 straightness, plus or minus one grain weight tolerance. Now, anytime you get up into these premium arrows, you're gonna you're gonna get that, and you're gonna pay this premium price right here, 200 bucks a dozen. But I think it's fully worth it, and I think this is what I want to do. 200 spine micro diameter. I like it. 11 grains per inch. Okay. So they have. An insert outsert system for their micro diameter arrows. I've heard good things about it. A little spendy. We're spending some money on this, but it comes in two different styles. So we have the oh, what do we have? The aluminum <clears throat> outserts are 80 grains and the stainless steel are 100. So we got to remember that. So we can play around with that, figure out which one we want. I don't think it's really going to matter, but it will make a difference on our arrow weight. So now that we know this is what we're going with, we're going to be going with the Black Eagle X Impact 200 spine, 11 grains per inch. Now we go back to Gold Tip, and they have this FOC calculator, which I don't care much for the FOC, but this is a great way to build arrows and see how much weight your arrow is going to be when completed. So, point weight, we have 100 grains. Insert weight. We're going to do the 80 grain aluminum. Collar weight, we don't have because that's added in into that point. Insert weight, weight screws, that's already added in. Shaft weight, 11 grains per inch. Shift length, my shafts are 28.75. Wrap weight, so I do use a boning 5.5 inch wrap. There's 7 grains about. And let's see, 5.5 inches. I like the wraps because you get to see the blood on the arrow. You can kind of tell whether you hit lung or heart or liver or guts. Kind of give you an idea of how long you need to wait to go after that animal. Um, and it, it's easier to find your arrow with that wrap on there. So veins, um, I, I have a lot of options for veins and this is something you can change around. I like on these micro diameter arrows, the hybrid 23s from AAE, they're only 2.3 inches long and are less than a half inch tall. Super small, slim. I do a four fletch option on my micro diameter arrows. Now, I am only shooting severs this year, which makes a huge difference because I don't need to steer anything in the front. In fact, I could not use anything and probably be good out to 30, 40 yards. So. These are doing very little work. I don't need a huge, huge vein. Um, if I was gonna be using a fixed blade broadhead, I may do a three or four fletch with the Max Stealth or Max Hunter. Those are both great options. A little bit heavier, a little longer, a little bigger. Um, let's go back and plug this in. So the hybrid 23s are uh, 5.7 grains per inch. And they're 2.3 inches long, so they're 23s. And I'm going to do a four fletch. No bushing, now knock. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a light of knock of some sort. And most light of knocks are anywhere from 20 to 24 grains. We'll just make it the higher. Calculate that. Bam! Look at that. 550 grains. That's exactly where we wanted to be then. This is where we said 550 grains was 288 feet per second. That is right on the money. 10% FOC, perfect. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, 10%, that's not high enough. You need to be 15, 18% to kill anything. I'm shooting an 80 pound bow with a 550 grain arrow going 288 feet per second. I don't give a shit about FOC. I have seen so many elk die with eight to 10% FOC, blown right through them, 
I, I really just I can't imagine why you would need high FOC. It just doesn't make much sense to me, especially shooting my bow, but even 70 pound bows, I just don't see why you need the FOC. Now, I mean, let's look at this. I, I don't really give a crap about kinetic energy, but 550 grains at 288 feet per second. <laughs> yeah, we can kill anything on Earth, Mars, in our solar system with this setup. I don't need a higher FOC. It's not going to do anything. Let's let's just say for giggles here. Let's let's see if we can get the FOC up to 15 or 16 percent. So to do that, I'm going to have to take out the light and knock, put in a standard knock, nine grains or so. Probably take off a vein. No, probably I would have to use a bigger vein, but whatever. Um, take out the wrap because I'm not going to be able to use that. Um, uh, what was the stainless steel? If we don't have the stainless steel, it was 100 grains up front. And then we could change this to 125 grain point. This might get us there. There you go. Almost 16% FOC with that. A little bit heavier, but we're still in that ballpark. We're probably going to be flying 285, 284 feet per second if you want that 16% FOC. To me, that 5% FOC is not worth me not having a wrap and a lighted knock. I would much prefer to have those on my arrows. Um, the other thing is, I just added a bunch of weight to the front of the arrow and took a little bit off the back. And so now my arrow might even need to be a little stiffer. I might need a 150 spine arrow because I just made that arrow a lot less stable. It's going to flex a lot more having all that weight up front. Um, that's just my opinion. You guys do you. I don't need the FOC. I don't think it's that important. I think if you're between, you know, 8 and 12 FOC, you're kicking butt. I think anything over that is just you're giving up a lot for that. Anyway, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to build these out. 550 grain arrow, uh, X impacts with the aluminum focus system, 200 spine. We're going to get them right around that 550 grains and we'll be flying somewhere in that 285, 288 feet per second range. And that's how I build my arrows. That's how I think about it. That's how I do it. It works great. Just start backwards and then work into finding your arrow and components that you want. All right, guys, have a good one. Take it easy.